it's Wendy, aka Kitty Street. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to a Dee Dee's Discount Store Haul. OMG. <laughs> I am so happy that I made a stop today because I wasn't going to go into Dee Dee's. I did not want to be spending any more money. And I also was saying to myself, self, you don't have time. But when I don't have time and I've got a million other things to do, that's always when I find the best deals. So against my own best judgment, I went into the DDs and I came out with not one, not two, and not three. Well, yeah, three bags because I consolidated one of them because it was a small one in here. Three bags plus a full of goodies. And oh my gosh, Lord help me. I'm doing Christmas shopping, so I'm going to say that. And I did find a couple more clothing items like I needed it with a hole in my head. But the prices were right. And yeah, we're going to jump into the video. I think I'm going to start off with the clothing because it's not a whole lot. And then we'll get in some items that I got on the dirt cheap and expensively that I just cannot even believe. Okay, we're going to start off with this right here. Now, I am a sucker for any kind of jacket. And look at the details on that. I don't know if you can even see that or not, but this is a rose gold, right? It's not gold, it's not silver, it's a rose gold. <laughs> and it even comes into the zipper part of it right here. It's just really nice. It kind of, the whole details of it is just really, really nice. And it's a very, very nice material. And of course, you know, I'm gonna try it on. I don't fall off. And um, it has a hood. And yes, and I got this in a 3X because they only had a 1X and a 3X and I went ahead and grabbed it because I thought, well, I could wear this over my clothes. It's by that brand, uh, Adrian Vendilini. I don't know, Vitality. I don't, I never can say these names correctly. I bought many things with that name before and I love it. This jacket is so heavy. And when it gets cooler here, it's like one of those things that's gonna be wonderful when I need it. I'm gonna put the hood, let me put the hood on. Do I ever put hoods on when I'm doing videos? I don't even remember. The hood, I mean, it's a little bit big because it is a 3X, but it's not really. I'm gonna be able to wear it pretty much. Okay, so yeah, so it is a 3X and it fits me pretty snugly. So that's why I don't look at sizes. Sometimes things are real, real snug. Sometimes they're not, but they only had a 1X and they had the 3X. This one's nice and I like the way that it has the hood on it and everything and it's so heavy, but I love the detail on it. You know, of course it's gotta be washed, but this is one of those jackets that I will keep, you know, close to me, like in the car. I just really, really love the detailing on it. And when I saw the price of it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this jacket. I bought a kind of turquoise blue one that I wear the mess out of it. Um, when I'm out and about, him, I keep it in my car. Guys, I paid $6, $6.99 for a jacket. What's the material on this? And I even looked, it's not, it does, it has like a soft fleece, but it's not that overpowering one that just, you know, when it's just too much, it's just too much. Where is the little tag? Does it have one? Okay, so I'm gonna try to see what this material is because it's heavy. Maybe it's on this stuff to your part. It says 65% polyester, 30% rayon, and 5% spandex. Okay, but regardless, $6.99, oh my gosh, I have wasted more money on that foolishness than a real good jacket with cuffs and everything. Hood, drawstrings, yes, I will be using this pretty much for the fall into the winter. And I don't think I even have a gray one. I have black ones, I have you know, navy ones. I have those different other colors, but I don't have any with the rose gold. I did pick up a couple of pairs of pants for me. I got these just because they looked trendy. Um, these are these high rise curvy skinny is what it says right here on the little tag. And it, I did get these in a size 18. Now I tried these on because I thought maybe I needed to go up a little bit, which I was hoping I didn't. But look at the little details of it. Now, I just like the way that it kind of just is different. And I love, love, love anything that's got these little quirky things on it on the legs. And I was so happy it didn't have the cutouts all the way down because I can't wear those certain places. You know, I definitely could never wear them to work. I don't, I might could get away with wearing these to work on a, a, an event or something that we're doing like on the weekends. 
but I thought these would be good when winter starts hitting for wearing with some boots. And I just thought they were on trend. And this is what the little picture looks like here. It's by um, Song, star of a new generation, I guess is what that is. And this is what the picture looks like, showing them in detail. And I just like, it really sold me with these little parts here at the bottom. High rise, cur curvy, skinny. I like anything that's high rise. I like skinny leg jeans. I just, I just happen to like them. I, I was looking to see if they had, um, you know, sometimes they'll say the, the original price is blah, 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 but I guess they're not going to say it on this one. But this was in the junior sections, guys. I found this in the junior plus. Go figure, right? So how, what is the material on this one? It just says 59% um, cotton, okay, 28% polyester, 15% rayon, and 2% spandex. So yes, guys, I think this is, you know, going to be a good pair of jeans that I can wear into, you know, fall into the winter. Um, it says it sits on the waist, curvy, no, no gapping in the back, flatter, curvy shape, skinny leg, and ankle length. So I guess it's not going to tell me what they are, were originally, but I paid $15.99 for them. And that's a going price. 15 bucks for a pair of jeans is pretty good. I always try to get them cheaper than that, but I like these and I will be wearing them a lot. So I don't mind paying, you know, $15. I used to pay like $30 and $40 for plus size jeans back in the day. What was I thinking? I really do appreciate being able to buy, you know, seasonal clothes, even because I'm, you know, if I'm going up in a size or going down in a size, it's like I'm not breaking the bank styles that they offer up for us now back in the day we didn't have all those choices or at least i didn't as a plus size person no 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 now i did purchase these for the sole reason that i love the make print i guess you would say guys i tried these on these feel like butter on me i loved them now they are a 3x and they are on a looser side they're not real real tight on me um, and I did try these on and they felt really, really nice. And that's what made me break down and buy them. They weren't too tight. They didn't give me a muffin top. And that was my goal. That's why I went ahead and went up in a bigger size. And they were perfect as far as the length, which I have a hard time finding. Um, you know, I call them like yoga pants or, or leggings or whatever. Um, and I like to wear these in the winter with a, with a hoodie pullover. It's like my go-to outfit all winter long. This is made, this is a 3X and a 77% polyester and 20% spandex. Guys, I just love, love, love the way they're made. And what does it say here? Oh, it's got compression. Yes, it does. It, it's very nice material. Um, it's by Nanette Lapore, I think that's what it is. And here's what I was looking for on the jeans, because you know they always have these little tags of what they normally are worth. Now, this one has one. It says size 3x original price is who in the heck 68 dollars okay 68 bucks thank you dds because i got these for four dollars and 99 cents and i will rock these all winter long and they also had something here in the back and i think it's a pocket to put like if you were you know running or something maybe you could put your key fob or some maybe your debit card or something in there i don't know but they're really 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 nice and i like them and they were four bucks $4.99 so I picked those up and I am weeding through my leggings and stuff because I realized that I have a ton of these like this but they're really 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 old and it's time for them to go to the graveyard seriously um if you ever were to go in my closet I mean I have clothes from every style every size I have sweaters I have t-shirts I have jeans you know guys I've hauled clothes all over the place. I've got stuff that I got from the Goodwill. I got stuff that I got from, you know, Walmart or, or TJ Maxx or, or Kmart, Target, all throughout my house. And a lot of the things I'm noticing, I love them to pieces, but I've had them for so long and I'm going through and looking through them. Some of them I had a, <laughs> I had a pair. It wasn't like these kind. They were more like the, I think I got them at Walmart. I used to love them. They're just simple black capris. And when they would go on clearance, I'd buy every one of them. I pulled the little band. I don't know why I did that. It just cre it was made this creaking noise. And I thought that means it's time to go to the graveyard. So I'm weeding through that stuff. And I'm trying to get rid of all of it. Because I'm tired of saying to myself, you keep buying all these clothes, but you never have anything to wear. So I'm trying to get some key pieces. And I'm just going to work with that. Right? <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Okay, let's talk about some Christmas stuff. 
and some surprise stuff that you know I'm going to talk about that I got from Dee Dee's. Oh my gosh. When I walked in this store, I could not even believe it. It's like I hit the mother load of the best prices ever. So I'm going to start off with these right here. Because <laughs> you know I'm not going to leave Dee Dee's without something Harry Potter. This is just not going to happen. Look how cute this little girl is. Jenny Weasley. I do not have this one. I thought it was simply the cutest little thing. I hope that they bring all the characters in this little, the way that they got them, you know, here. And I'm sorry about the glare, guys. But this was $3.99. I just can't believe it. I hope they have all these characters. Because if they do, I'm going to be buying every single one of them. This is the whole clan right there, right? Really, really cute. It's the Wizarding World um, brand here. It is by Warner Brothers. And I'm telling you, I really, really, really love it. It says, collect them all. I want to. It says, wand included. Okay. And it's a Jenny Weasley. And I just think she looks so stinking cute right there. Big eyes and all. So, I got that one for me for the Harry Potter. Because why not? Because I rack up at Harry Potter every time I go. Do I have anything else Harry Potter? It seemed like I had one other thing. And then the rest was all toy. Oh, yeah, here it is. The rest is all um, gifts for my grandson. I got this here. I had forgot about it. Now, they had this one, and they had Hagrid's Hut. And I could not remember for the life of me if I had Hagrid's Hut. So, I, I was like, I'm going to wind up buying this. I'm going to have to bring it back. And I wish that I would have just picked it up because of the price alone. $3.99. But I didn't get Hagrid's Hut. But I, I got this one here, which is um, Harry and the Potions because they had the Potions class. And I knew I didn't have this one for sure. And it's, that's what it looks like inside there. And I can't wait to, to one day get into all these little things and just mess with them. I mean, Lord, I'm going to have a field day. I'm going to be like I'm a, a grown child with this stuff. And this is what the other little things they break open to do. And these are those magical minis, the Harry Potter brand, $3.99. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I just can't even believe it. It's like Christmas all day long every time I go in that place. I mean, it's almost like a given. I'm like, well, I know I'm going to find something Harry Potter. And that's why I'm saying Dee Dee's is probably my favorite store right about right now. $3.99. And I've got the passion for it. And I, I want to go back and get the Hagrid's Hut. But they're probably sold out. Because I will tell you, sometimes I'll go in and I'll say, well, I'm only going to get this. I'm not going to get that. And I'll go back the next day and I don't film it or tell you guys about it. That stuff is gone. Snapped up right then and there because there must be other um, kids that love Harry Potter or there's other grown people like me that love Harry Potter. Okay, enough about that. All right, let me talk about Christmas. So, I was trying to think about what did I want to do for Christmas and I thought I'm going to spoil my grandson the most with as much things as I can afford. Um, my grown children are probably going to get, you know, one item that they really, really want. Maybe some little things here and there. I'm not going to break the bank. I always give my mom something and I do a secret Santa with my family because we got such a huge family and we just pick out one person out of all of us and we buy for that person. That person buys for when, whoever picks my name and we put like a budget to it of a certain amount. And then everything else will just be like my friend mail and things I'll send out at Christmas to my friends. But my grandson is the biggest one of all. And I was like, well, he's three. And when, when you have a three-year-old, you know, I was like, I've already bought the big, big toys that you ride on. All the educational toys I can think of. Even at his birthday last year, I bought him like a huge thing. I don't even know if it was online or whatever of a cars, you know, that Pixar cars, little car. And I'm like, I don't think I want to do that this year. I want him, I want to see the joy of him opening up. Last year, I don't even know if I if I um, videoed that or showed you guys. It was like he knew how to take the paper off, but he just slung it and got to the next one. So this year, and, and yes, I am kind of controlling it a little bit. I'm going to hand him one present at a time and maybe, you know, do quite a few of them if I can. I'm a, I got quite a few right here. If I just stopped right here, I'd be good. Um, but... <laughs> Guys, I just want to see him unwrap the gifts and um, get, see his pleasure from that because I haven't had young kids in so long to do that with. My kids, when they hit about 15, that was it. If it wasn't money or something like money or more money, they they liked what I got them. They always do, but and they were appreciative of it, but it wasn't the same. You know what I'm saying. Okay, enough of that. All right, so let's talk about these right here. I'm gonna. These were the cheapest ones that I had, and I actually really didn't get this for Christmas, I, or I don't think I did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it here in a minute. My son, my grandson, 
he loves sharks and he also loves dinosaurs and he's into those little you know things with the little hickeys that that pop out of the gun and i he's always got a little buddy around him or a little friend and i thought i'm gonna pick up these because these are only two that they had and if they had more i would have got more because these are like little cute little things you can give to kids when they're hanging out together to play around with that you know that aren't gonna last too long because every one of these things he has with these things they break right away so if this breaks it's not going to hurt my feelings why because they were a dollar 49 okay this does say three years and above it's that vivitar blast blasters oh no it's beast blaster excuse me and of course this one is the pull and shot pull and shoot um the one that's a shark this is a better picture of it here and this one is the dinosaur and there's a picture there so when the when i have my grandson and he has like a little buddy with him i want to pull these little things out this probably will not be at christmas unless i do it for a family thing and then i just buy this as extra because even though we do pull names sometimes i'll buy for everybody it just depends i like to give i like to give i always say that i do but this year i'm trying to keep it in a, at a budget like i always try to do <laughs> all right let me talk about this one because this is a little bit older for my grandson and I just remember my kids playing these games when they were younger. And these, this um, heads, is it head bang, headbands or whatever? The ones that you put the little pen, the band on and you had the little game on the top of it like that. These used to be really, really expensive, at least when I got them for my kids back in the day. This is actually Paw Patrol. He loves Paw Patrol, my grandson. And it has the little, um, you know, game. It does say five and above, but he's super smart. I think... You know, it might not be right away, but by into next year, he'll be able to play this game. I thought it was just cute. It brought back so many memories. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, that's probably going to be pricey, but it was on clearance. Guys, I could not even believe it. It's Headbands Junior. And I got it for $3, if you can see that. $3.49. I think Dee Dee's always tax of 49 cents on all their stuff, just like Ross does. A whole brand new game. It's got a little film on it and everything. It's never been opened up. $3.49. And I thought, my gosh, Becky, I'm getting that for sure. And that's a Christmas gift. All right. This next one here is, I was trying to think, was I going to give it to him for Christmas or if I wanted to give it to him for um, his birthday because he is having a monster jam. And let me make sure I say that correctly. It's not monster trucks. It's monster jam. Um, there's a whole cartoon on it, but I got these little, um, kind of truck things. They're ATV racers. I don't even know if they're really monster jams, but they hit each other and, and guys, my, my boys are going to be boys. He loves to see things, hitting things, clashing with things, running up against things, flying off of bridges and stuff. I thought <laughs> he's going to love this. And this is a two-pack, four-by-four drive. Look at the colors on them. I mean, they got little, little things on them, and they're really durable. They're not even cheaply made. Um, I just can't even believe it. 360 rotating, they rotate around. I was, like, blown away when I saw these because <laughs> $3.99. I mean... This is a perfect little toy that will pacify my grandson for hours and hours and hours and hours. And there's two of them. And so I thought, you know, I might even break them up. And if he had a buddy with him, I was thinking that too. I'm always thinking about if there's another one there. Because I don't like when kids have a single toy and everybody wants that toy. It's like, you know, and if I gave this to my grandson, he'd want this one. If I gave this one to someone else and that's vice versa, but it's always like that. But I'm just trying to keep things, you know, with doubles. I didn't, I'm not hauling this because it was only three items, but I had ordered some, um, a bathing suit cover up that didn't work, um, that I had gotten from Kohl's like 20 years ago. I thought it was the same one, but it wasn't. It was like a t-shirt material and I didn't want that one. So I had to return it. And anyway, when I returned it, they had some bubbles um, and little bubble things. And it, they were like marked down on clearance, like a dollar and something. And I got like three or four of them with the different Disney characters on it. And I'll pass them out when kids, you know, there's two or three kids around and just give them to them. Cause that's how I like to do things. I like everyone to have a toy of their choice, <laughs> right? Okay. So continuing on with the double pack here, I got these. Now these are literally, I don't, are they monster jams? 
well, I don't know. These are dinosaur trucks. And I actually kept thinking they were Monster Jams because of the way they look. Um, they just look like they're monster -y, you know. And I um, saw these and I thought, okay, he's into the monster trucks. This one might be for his birthday. I might give him this one. I haven't really decided because I've got a bunch of things that I've gotten. I got to go through it when I get back off from vacation, which I'll be, I don't know if I'm on vacation when I'm shooting this. I don't even know when I'm going to be putting this video out, but I wanted to get it done before I go on vacation because we're headed out real, real soon. But I'm going to go through that when I get back. And yes, this right here is going to be perfect. And I think it's, this one's going to be for his birthday. I'm just thinking outside. I think that it's going to be the better thing for that other than Christmas. What's that price right there, guys? $3.99. They had so many toys for $3.99. I could, I, it just blew my mind. And these are the types of things, and these are the types of, of toys that, you know, even if they are rough on them, they lose them, you're not going to cry saying, God, I just dropped $50 on something and it's, you know, broken now, or it's somebody's, you know, lost it, or they left it somewhere in a chair at a restaurant when we left. That's happened to me. This is $3.99, and it's right up my grandson's alley. So, yeah, I had to get that. All right, we got one more item, and this one will definitely be a Christmas gift item. Now, they had one that was um, a dinosaur, and they had one that was a shark. But but the shark one was, it was like, I think they may have brought it back, and it just didn't look new. And I really wanted the shark one. I kept looking around the whole store thinking I was going to get the shark one. Guys, this was a four dollars and ninety nine cents, just a little bit more. But it's that one that has the whole, um, you know, where the vehicle, the car goes into the mouth of whatever it is. And in this case, it's a crocodile. And they have them right here. I think the shark one's going to show up right there. Yeah, this is the one they have. They have a a road rampage. They have a T Rex. That might have been the dinosaur one. A construction one. A shark attack. A spider strike. The Gorilla Rampage. Okay, maybe maybe it wasn't a shark one. I'm sure there was a shark one. And a raptor one. So maybe I thought it was a shark and it was something else. But how stinking cute is this? This is Zura, Z-U-R-U, -U, Metal Machines, and $4.99. And this is a nice little toy. Matter of fact, if these, you know... If I was in the place where I was buying for like the church and, and donations for kids and things around Christmas, these are the kind of toys that I think they would want. <laughs> you know, nice big toys that have, you know, a lot of fun um, pieces and stuff to it. That's just my opinion now. I mean, it might not be the best thing because it's got a big old alligator mouth. And I think I get spoiled because I watch YouTube with my grandson and they have these these videos that get millions of views. I mean, somebody's watching them, right? where they take just random cars and they either throw them in a pool or they have them in mud and they, they're always running them down, stuff like this. And my, I've just been watching those. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh, I know my grandson's going to love this. And I loved the price of it. So, yes, guys, that wraps up my little, you know, Dee Dee's Christmas starting and birthday starting haul. Um, I cannot even believe the price of this. And they had so many more. If I really just wanted to spoil my grandson, which I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I usually try to keep things at a minimum, but I just love to see my grandson unwrapping the present. So it may not be such a minimum this year, but as he gets older, it'll get lower as well. But when my kids were younger, I would always have to buy them the same amount of stuff. My son and my daughter were just, if I bought my son something and my daughter wanted it, oh my gosh, it was going to be horrifying. And if my daughter got something and my son wanted it, so I learned a long time ago to to kind of keep them happy and I always made sure they had the right like if I bought her seven things I bought him seven things comment let me know if you had that struggle and you're probably saying who cares it's a gift it's a Christmas I cared because I didn't want to have that the pouty but with my kids growing up where you know they always wanted what the other one had comment let me know if you've ever had to go through that that's the worst but with my grandson you know he doesn't know any better. He's going to be three this Christmas, and I cannot wait to see him open up a few of the things that I'm going to pick up for him, and I'm sure I'm going to find a few more um, within the next couple of months, and I really want to wrap it up if I can and get all his stuff wrapped up, you know, by Black Friday. Right after Black Friday, I want to have as much stuff as I'm going to give him done so I can kind of bring you a video on what did I buy my grandson for 2024. Oh, I can't even believe we're talking about almost Christmas here. 
and 2024 has just flown by. With that said, I'm going to end the video. Like, share, comment. Please check to see if you're subscribed. That sure will help me. Um, that's been going on where people are getting unsubscribed. And also, if you're new, I hope you will subscribe to the channel. It will help me as well. And I appreciate you guys taking your time to hang out with me today. And I'll be back with something else real, real soon. All right, guys. Bye.